Fellas, AC here, hope you're doing well. Well, recently I did a video where I categorized 21 designer releases of 2018 and Tobacco Reserve by Aramis I think ended up in the top five or just short of it. I can't remember, but it was quite an impressive fragrance to me when I sampled it. So today I'm going to do a full review of this fragrance and let's start with the basics. So obviously this was released this year. Tobacco Reserve uh, is basically the bottle and the presentation will remind you of the classic Aramis. And it's been done by a perfumer who hasn't done a lot of work recently. He's been doing a lot of work uh, in the past. His name is Edouard Fleschier. Now his notable work has been some, some uh, fragrances for Aramis, but the one that I remember is Une Rose by Frederick Marl. Now, this fragrance is very important release of 2018. Why? Because it bucks the trend. The trend nowadays is to create um, sort of forgettable blue scents that basically are attention grabbers. This one goes one or two steps beyond that. It also is compared to uh, L'Occitane's Eau de Beau, and there's some truth to that. But I'm going to give you some more inputs so that uh, it helps you in trying out. Um, I can't get it to spray. Um, okay, now I can. Yeah. It's actually a very strong fragrance. Um, that's another thing, you know, bucking the trend. It's a very strong fragrance. So, okay, how does it start? It starts off very green and herbal and sort of very strange kind of a um, composition in the first few seconds that you smell. That's why I would highly recommend that you don't test it on a piece of paper and I would also recommend that you have some patience with this because it takes time to fall in love with this fragrance. But you know what? You'll be rewarded if you, are, if you stick to it. Okay, so it smells very vegetable, like green tobacco scent. There's no tobacco at the moment, but what I'm getting is sage. So herbal and very dark green. The color is dark green. And then, you know, black currant, but there's very slightly odd scent or smell coming through. And that probably is oak moss combined with orris root. There is no vanilla, but it seems as if it's got vanilla in it. It's very creamy. That's why it smells odd because it's got green, uh, herbal, fruity smell along with creaminess. Yeah, if that makes sense. But this will all go away in about five to ten, maybe fifteen minutes. It'll settle down and turn into a beautiful, fruity, slightly herbal, and dry tobacco. Dry. That's the key word. It's already starting to flourish and it's a fragrance which will grab your attention once you fall in love with it so give it some time so in about 15 minutes time it develops into its final stage it's a linear scent I'm loving this here this is where it shines you know when the fragrance dries down if you have the patience when you're testing it that is when you will be rewarded why because it smells like a top-notch tobacco scent top-notch you know it's got this tangy fruitiness to it black currant it reminds me in idea of a roja dove enigma enigma uses grape yeah with tobacco grapes you know can you imagine that here it's black currant and tobacco it's also got this very attractive slight powderiness of orris root and nutmeg. Nutmeg keeps the fragrance very smooth and creamy and fresh. It never becomes sweet, it never becomes cloying in spite of using some really heavy and robust notes. A beautiful composition, very unique, one of the strongest compositions of this year. Very unique, very different, exciting, something different, you know, it takes real guts to create something which bucks the trend. This is why I respect this fragrance. I think you sample it if you like tobacco fragrances. Now, the big tobacco fragrances like Pure Havan, um, 
Parfums de Mali, Herod, they all go sweet. They all go towards uh, Spice Bomb. They all go towards a sweet, spicy direction. This is also very important for this fragrance. It could have gone sweet. It's not. It keeps a very dry, uh, non-sweet. It's sort of sweet, but it's not as sweet as Herod or Pure Havan. Pure Havan is really sugary sweet, uh, honey-like sweetness. None of that. Beautiful spiciness underneath it. That's nutmeg and sage and creamy. Beautiful, beautiful composition. It stays this way for the entire life of this fragrance. So let's talk about pros and cons. Number one pro is what a beautiful imaginative creation this is. That's, that is not sweet tobacco. Very imaginative. Beautifully done. Number two pro would be the performance. It's a very long lasting fragrance. So if you go two sprays under your shirt, one or two on your skin, it should see you through the whole day with no problems. I'd say about 12 to 15 hours is the longevity. The projection, this is an eau de parfum, I believe. Um, yeah, I can't read it anywhere. Probably it's an eau de parfum. It is an eau de parfum, sorry. So projection is going to be, let's say, half an arm's length for the entire duration of the fragrance. Yeah? Initially, it might project a bit more, probably for one hour, but it will stick closer to your skin as eau de parfums do. Um, the sillage is amazing. The fragrance, when it settle down, settles down on your skin, and after it's about two to three hours old, that's when the fragrance becomes absolutely stunning. And when you've worn it under your shirt in a warm weather like, sorry, cold weather like this, it starts to really seep out between your shirt and your skin. It really gives you beautiful wafts, terrific uh, quality. That's the third pro. It's a very high quality composition. There's nothing cheap or synthetic about this fragrance. You know, being a designer, that's a major feather in its cap. And the fourth one is basically that the fragrance has this charismatic feel about it. It's a charismatic fragrance. So terrific to wear it to work, you know, where people smell it and they get a little hint or idea of your class. You know, you're a classy person. That's the kind of vibe it gives out. Those are the four pros. Now the downsides. Obviously it reminds you of something and it reminds you of Eau de Beau, so it's not very original. Um, the differences between this and, and Aramis is that Eau de Beau is more vanilla centric. That's why it uh, draws comparisons to tobacco Um But I think the lightness is very fleeting. Uh, this is also very spicy and it's very dense. Tobacco Reserve is also dense, but not as spicy as Eau de Beau. Eau de Beau uses cypress. It also uses Tonka, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, I've done a full review of Eau de Beau. You can check it out. But the longevity of Eau de Beau is probably half, five hours to six hours max. So, yes, it, re it will remind you of Eau de Beau, yeah. But only for first three to four hours, and then it goes into a different direction. That's why I said you need patience. If you discredit it after first one or two uses, you lose out. The second uh, downside would be it's a linear scent. You know, after about first 15 minutes, it develops and that's how it stays. As I said, a dry, um, fruity tobacco with nuances of nutmeg and slight powdery creaminess of orris root. That's how it will stay. It's a beautiful scent, but it's linear. So, occasions, I would say you can wear this daytime. It suits daytime and nighttime. You can, it's a versatile scent. You can wear this to work, you can wear this to a date, you can wear this with your friends outside, chilling out. It'll do very well in cold weather because it has that composition, the strength, the muscle power to project over, or at least people can smell it over, uh, you know, thick air of cold weather. I don't think I'll wear this in hot weather, but warm weather, it should do even better because it's got black current and it's got nutmeg. So it's got that freshness to it. And fruity freshness to it so it should do well in in spring in autumn so you can wear this in about um, three out of four seasons in a year uh, age group slightly mature eau de beau is slightly mature so is this i'd say this is about 30 plus yeah it wouldn't appeal to the youngsters uh, who are looking for a great office scent but it'll appeal to people who are slightly older uh, and are slightly reserved in their personality 
it will really suit them. Um, I think I've touched on all aspects. Marks out of 10, I'm going to give it a 7. It's a very solid release, worth sampling, be patient with it, wear it on your skin, you're going to love it. Okay, hope you like the review fellas. Take care, bye-bye.